From the 2009 SHOT Show in Orlando, Florida, this is the Shepherd Report. Sponsored by Insight Tech Gear. Chuck Larson, Rock River. You see this platform, the hottest platform in the country, the hottest time we've had, I guess, ever for this gun. And you come out with another iteration that's probably going to keep the heat even higher. What you got here? That is the Rock River 308 varmint rifle uh, with a Daniels Defense handguard on it, 26-inch uh, barrel, 1 in 10 twist with a 308 NATO chamber, uh, designed around the FAL magazine inch pattern and or metric pattern. Inch or metric? Inch or metric. That's big. I didn't yeah. realize that. That is really big. And somebody will look at that and say, well, that's a big gun. No, it's a reach out gun, is it not? Yeah, reach out and touch something. Long range, 308, no objection about any game in North America capable of taking. Perfectly no. legal for hunting, although people would like you to think otherwise. No. And that's one of the questions that I wanted to ask you about. The AR platforms, it's your specialty. Great, great uh, 1911s as well, but the, hey, talk to me about the AR. I mean, come on cannot build them fast enough, quick enough. It is the hottest selling gun 2008, 2009, and actually even before that, but in uh, recent days, we can't keep up. We just cannot keep up with sales. So, so I, I had a national media person call me earlier this week, and so why is that? Come on, why is that? New president. New president, new administration. New president, yep, new administration, yep. The well, threat you, is out. You're from the part of the world that knows the new president. Yep. Everyone says to me, oh, you don't know what you're concerned about. You do, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, part of the Rod Blagojevich crowd. Gun threats all over Illinois have been plaguing us forever. That's been their primary thing, was to get rid of the gun manufacturing or assault weapons, so-called, in Illinois. Illinois is almost what we would classify as gun capital of the world. We've got six major manufacturers there. Lots of jobs, um, guns that are classified as the threat, not a threat. It's the person behind the gun. It's a hammer. Yeah. You can drive nails or break holes in walls. Yeah. It's how you use it. Now let's talk about the economic part, because that's what people don't understand. Yeah. How many people do you have working for you? 65, and direct. if the AR, suddenly banned, how many people will be working for you? <laughs> Not 65. Be down to nothing. Down to nothing? Yep. Everybody out of work? Yep. Clone, Illinois? Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Small town. Very small town. A lot of uh, lot of good people there. We train in-house. It's not something that you go to college for. We train them in-house the way we want things done. Uh, all the benefits are there. We've got the 401k. We pay for all health insurance, 100%. Employees pay nothing. So we've got. You're going to be getting got, calls when this airs. You know that. We people got. Hey, we've got. Anybody? We've got good benefits, though. But we take care of the people who take care of us, and that's that was always our objective. Um, it's not just those 65 people that are working for us. It's all the surrounding machine shops. Everything is made in the United States. Uh, a lot of it's made right in the Quad City area where I'm from, and then other states also. So it's not just those jobs, it's, there's a, a stack up of jobs. It's kind of like General Motors, Chrysler, and uh, Ford. It's not just them, it's the pyramid effect, everything that falls down below it. And, and you are so heavily government subsidized, right? Oh, yeah. You, you're really bailed out by the government on nothing, I yeah. think would be the expression. I wish I could get that free money. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's not free, unfortunately. They're taking it from us to give to them. Yeah. But when you look at that, people don't understand. How much money do you guys put back into the economy just in taxes? When you look at the taxes on the, on the Huge. farms and everything else. I mean, who Huge. else contributes like we do? I can't think of too many, too many other ones that do other than just the firearms industry. We get taxed by federal excise tax. And then our regular taxes that we've got our state, local, and obviously Social Security and everything else. And people who are, who are anti-gun don't seem to understand Pittman-Robertson and everything that we do, but 
than fifty million dollars a year back into conservation. Yeah. Conservation state agency. Illinois doesn't pay for your wildlife agencies. I got news for everybody there. Gun owners and ammo buyers and gun buyers and manufacturers are paying the fare on that. Well, now, somebody's watching this, and they go, well, you know, it's a military gun. It's not good for anything else. How many things can I use my AR for? Uh, there's a huge, huge variety. Just regular target shooting. Go out and shoot competition out at Camp Perry, out at the national matches, to shoot alongside of the uh, U.S. military shooting teams, compete civilian against them. That's been going on since 1903. Um, you can go out and you can shoot your coyotes, you can shoot any kind of predatory animal. Uh, a lot of people go out to the Dakotas, they want to go out and shoot prairie dogs. Um, just, it's a wide, wide range of things that you can do with this. And of course there is the obvious idea, it's not a bad home defense gun. Right? It's not a bad home defense gun. The other side of it is, is our industry is so innovated we are bringing things online that the current U.S. military is using to outfit our, our boys that are over in Afghanistan and Iraq. Without the infrastructure that we are doing with the design and general public that funds that, it all goes away. We lose our edge in, in this industry and in, in our world. And uh, that's what makes us number one. We've got a lot of people that are in this, and we do testing, and, and uh, the U.S. military has adopted a lot of the stuff. And how about configurations? How many ways can I get myself a Rock River rifle? Hundreds and hundreds. Um, we have, I want to say, 300 different SKUs in our system, and you can change handguards, buttstocks, um, uppers and lower receipt. Well, the lowers are, are the base, but the uppers, we've got four, four or five configurations of uppers, carry handles, sights, you name it, it's there. And the thing about that is, not only can you get it the way you want it to start, if what you want changes, yep. you don't have to have a new gun. You get the new parts and yep. build the upper the way you want it, or you can do that. Yep, we do it. We do a lot of cu custom builds. Uh, what we classify as a standard build, our competitors classify as a custom build in their shop. That's what put us on the map. However you want it, we'll build it. If we've got to go out and order a part that we don't necessarily stock and add, we've done that. So, delivery times on guns now, what are we looking at? Guns? Six months. It's six months? That's six a good months. thing though, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to yeah. get them out as quickly as we can. We're going to get them out. Rock yeah. River, if they're interested. Go on Rock the web. River. Hop on the web. Phone lines are tangled up. You could just cannot get through. We've got nine lines and they're full all day long. We're working six days a week, 12 hour days, and it's just not enough. It's just not enough. People have asked, have you considered second shift? <laughs> considered it, just not yet. Just not yet. We'll run out of componentry before before we can get into a full fledged second shift. So. Right. Chuck Larson, Rock River, great product, great demand. Great things going on at the SHOT Show 2009. This is the Shepherd Report. The next edition, plenty more for you, so you stay tuned. Protecting the U.S. military for 20 years. Now, ready to defend your loved ones. Dominate the darkness with the WX-150 Tactical Weapon Light from Insight Tech Gear. The unbreakable LED puts out 150 scorching lumens of blinding power or thug debilitating strobe light. The machined aircraft-grade aluminum easily locks to your tactical rail and will stand up to maximum weapon shock. Dominate the darkness with the WX-150 Weapon Light from Insight Tech Gear.